I never really photographed very many animals before this project. I guess I just sort of approached them how I would photograph a human. Um, then that sort of also kind of defines the the look of the the shots as well. Um, they're all sort of classic portraiture style photographs. Um, you know, that's meant to to look these dogs in in the eyes and you know on on level with them. Uh, so even like the the smallest dog is is instead of looking down at this dog, you're looking like right at them. I was pretty moved um, by the, the stories that people provided me with uh, when they were trying to convince me to, to photograph their dogs, and I, I, so I felt there was something that I should be sharing with, uh, with others as well. Um, and a lot of them are moving, some are funny. I think anybody who's had a dog, there'll be something in one or, or even a few of the, the stories that are, they'll resonate with them. What uh, I was looking for in, in terms like visually of, uh, in terms of, of which dogs I'd like to photograph, I was looking for those telltale signs of aging, you know, the, 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 the white eyebrows, the, the, the gray muzzles, the, you know, chipped and missing teeth or the, the foggy eyes. Um, and yeah, I guess there's, there's a, a, a bit of projection onto these images that like you, you can project e your own emotions and your own thoughts and, uh, and I guess we do sort of, maybe they do act as, as kind of a, a mirror in some ways of, of what it is like also for, for humans to, to age and, and to, to grow older. Mm -hmm.